Hello everyone, my name is Regina Miller and I am delivered 13 years from Bad Men, session nine. I want you women to understand your worth. Understand that who you are requires a lot of attention. Who you are requires your joy, your love, and your admiration towards yourself. Who you are determines how other people treat you. Who you are is how your children look up to you. Who you are is how your parents raised you. Now, I know a lot of people don't have the parents raising part, but those of you who do and don't, you still can have the self-love that you need for yourself. Who you are determines what person or persons come into your life and how they treat you. Me being delivered from bad men was not just something that I learned overnight to avoid the bad men. I had to go through life experiences. I had to go through the bad men to know that that's not what I want anymore. That's not what I want to have come to my home. That's not who I want in my life. That's not who I want my children to look upon as a man. Loving you is who you are. First, loving you and getting to know God. I'm going to put it in this order. Loving God and then loving you is when then you get someone in your life to love you as well. And that's your topping. That other person is your topping. When we find ourselves in situations like I did in my past where I'm a nurturer, women are nurturers. So we find ourselves nurturing versus getting nurtured. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Couples, married people, dating, we are supposed to be engaging in one another, learning one another, loving one another, getting to know one another. It shouldn't be one-sided. When it became one-sided for me, that's when I realized that I was dating bad men because they were selfish. They wanted what they wanted from me versus what I needed for them. That's not what you want. You want to live a life of peace with your, with your uh, significant other. Dating bad men is definitely something that all women know when it comes upon you. What we do though, we avoid the red flags. We ignore the red flags. But I am here with these sessions to let you all know that stop ignoring the red flags. Get into your life. Love you and who you are. And the people around you will love you the same. When people see you loving yourself, they will start loving you. They will appreciate you. They will acknowledge you. They will respect you. Everyone in my life, whether it was a date or boyfriend or whoever, friends, when I was not loving myself, that's how they treated me. Like, they didn't love me either. But then when I started loving myself, I'll take these off so y'all can see me. When I started loving myself, that's when things changed for me. That's when people started respecting me. That's when the questions started coming. Well, what's wrong with her? Or why she's doing this? Or why she's doing that? Those, that's what you're going to get when you start loving yourself. So be prepared. Okay? Be prepared for the changes. Be prepared for the questions. Be prepared for people that you would not expect that would do these things or say these things to you. They're going to start saying them. People who I would never imagine would turn on me has turned on me because I started loving myself. Because clearly when you find that love for yourself, you're going to stop doing the old stuff. You're going to stop doing all the old stuff that you did to try to fit in or be right with someone else or, you know, you walk in a room and you dim your light. You're not going to do that anymore when you love yourself. You're going to accept who you are. You're going to love who you are. And that's it. You're going to have some that don't like it. But the ones who love it, that's when you're going to know, those are my friends. That's the community I need to get in. 
that's the environment I want to be in. The ones who love the new you. Men, they're probably not going to talk to you, the old ones, anymore. Because they're going to feel like they can't get anything from you. They can't take advantage of you. Now you're going to get into the room of men that care about you. They're going to show you that they care about you. They're going to take you to brunch. They're going to take you to lunch. And not that it's about the things that someone is going to do for you, but it is going to change. The bad man is not taking you anywhere. The good men will take you places. They will treat you nice. They will buy you fine things. Yes, they will. Because that's the environment that you'll be in now. The changes, the change will be good for you. And you want that in your life. You want change and you want to feel good. There's not a woman in America that I can think of or even imagine that don't want this type of uh, commitment from their uh, significant other or the love from their significant other. It, it, it wouldn't make sense if you get into a relationship and you don't want the goodness of it. We all know the bad stuff. I'm never going to talk about the bad stuff. What I'm trying to do is deliver not just me every day, but my sisters and brothers who want to come along, who says, I'm tired of this old way of living. I'm tired of people treating me bad. I'm tired of these bad relationships. That's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm trying to get through to. And with God, all of these things are possible. The whole point of these sessions is with God, all things are possible. If you want that change, whether it's a relationship, family, friends, your job, if you want that change, you be the first change. It starts with you. I was telling my daughter today about, I feel like I'm going through food addiction, food uh, withdrawal addiction. Like, I guess like a drug addict will be coming off drugs. I feel that way about food. I'm not eating the foods that I used to eat. I'm changing. My body is changing. My life is changing. My mental is changing towards food because I realize the things that I put into my body is what comes out of my body. What I'm looking for for my health, I have to create for my health. I am me. I control how I feel. What I put in is what I get out. If I want to feel good today, I need to do things that's going to make my body feel good. No doctor, no medicine can do that for me. That's what I have to do for myself. And I told my daughter, I feel like I'm a food addict right now. And I'm going through withdrawal. And that's how you have to be with your change. Feel it. Go through it. But I guarantee you when you get there, it's going to be worth it. God bless you come back tomorrow. My name is Regina Miller and God has delivered me from bad men and bad things.